Netbank is proud to present the Netbank Cup Kiona Team Search. Dynamic. Exhilarating. The Netbank Cup Team Search. Kiona. The Netbank Cup. The one. The 2015 Netbank Kiona Team Search. Now, we began our search across the nation to find the most promising talent, turning young amateur soccer players into extraordinary athletes. Now, plan today we take a look at the participants from across South Africa, giving them the chance to showcase their talents and football abilities, and having, of course, the opportunity to make it into the top 48. Welcome to Vunugena again, again Kulababa 48, chosen to take part in the Netbank Kiona Bootcamp. Now, joining me in the studio today, I got Angul Dalu Mahambayet and Mini Miss Lamini Madlamini. I'm a kama maning. Hey, maning. I must say that though, you must have frequent fire miles on fleek at the moment. You have no idea. We literally went all across the country mm. searching for these 48 that you will see in the next coming episodes. Now tell me about the different places. I mean, you went to Durban, you went to Joburg. Where were the biggest crowds? Where was the most promising talent? Well, the biggest crowds, it's no surprise, was definitely Johannesburg. Mm. And then second to Johannesburg was my hometown, KZN. <laughs> but then, of course, in between the selfies, you managed to see some of the talent that was on the field. The coaches have a word in with you as well. What are they saying? What are we expecting from this crop? I mean, it was a little difficult. You know, some some provinces showed some incredible striker talent. Mm. Some showed no goalkeeper talent. I mean, it got towards the very end where there were no goalkeepers. And I, I saw the coaches were really, really starting to panic. Wow. But when we got to Johannesburg, I think the numbers completely flipped. And we got all the players that we needed. Now, where are we? What's going on with the players? Where are they mentally as well? They can see that it's getting closer. They are. I mean, they're very excited. I mean, the hunger that I saw on the road was absolutely fantastic. I saw young boys with energy. And mm. I mean, in the previous seasons, we know that the age group was a lot was a lot higher. Yeah. So it went from 18 to 35. This year, it's 18 to 25. So there's no one who's slacking. I mean, yeah. it's a whole lot of energy. It's bursts of energy. And I really think the standard this year has taken it to a whole nother level. Any early favorites? The coaches have already identified a player who they say is by far their player of wow. the season. So we want to see if he's able to maintain that in the bootcamp stages. Now, in season past, we've seen just to endeavor to be here to make it to that final lot. Yeah, and then you get characters, Andy. I mean, I'll, you can never forget the gents with the pink slippers. He was absolutely hilarious. He came with this long story mm. of how he got mugged. He doesn't have a passport or an ID. He didn't even have soccer boots, but he was there to try his luck. And it turns out his story was not real. Yeah. But <laughs> I definitely think he has a career in acting. Football, not so much his thing, but definitely a career in acting. Oh, wow, man. These stories are absolutely amazing, especially when you get to the final lot and you get to hear what the boys have to say about their travels to yeah. get you. Speaking of travels, I mean, you've even weather uh, and travel. Uh, sometimes you even had to sleep in uh, buses, I hear. I did sleep on a bus at some point, but it was really comfortable. We had a lot of fun. Our crew is absolutely fantastic. So that was cool. But the weather was actually terrible in Cape Town, funny enough. So it was windy, it was cold. There's even a point where we thought it was going to pour out and rain. But it didn't, thank goodness. And the, we were able to uncover some really great talent there in Cape Town. Um, again, another place where the goalkeeper problem was tackled. Mm. You know, Cape Town was one of our last places that we visited. And that's where we started seeing some really great um, talent that was in the goalkeeping department. So the coaches were very happy with that. But the weather was terrible. It was freezing. So there I am trying to take a link, selfies with the boys and <laughs> trying to keep myself strong. <laughs> Well, we can all imagine. Miss uh, Mini, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely a pleasure to always have her in the studio. You can look forward to so much more as far as the stories, the coaches, and of course, the football. Uh, 
I played, I played my best. Uh, getting my players into, into game and teamwork, teamwork, yes. If I'm not selected, I, w I, w I would not be happy uh, uh, for myself because I, I played my all. I gave, I gave the best that I could. The, the talent has been exceptional. Mm. Uh, we've got more numbers than we had last year this time, um, and we still I think we're halfway through the you know through the day, so we're expecting a very very good um, uh, deliberation at the end of today. You know to make up the final plays that will go through. Being acknowledged by coaches like Kawazon makes me feel like I don't know how I feel actually. I've been trying, I've been looking down doors, but then that when I thought I might give up, something like this comes up. The first game today set the tone, mm -hmm. and and in that first game we got the best player of this tournament so far. I mean, expectations met. Uh, still looking forward to the second half of this uh, of this day, mm -hmm. and I'm sure there's still more talent out there. We decided to keep the ball more and entire out our position and then we can penetrate. Guys uh, push the ball as much as they can. We had some opportunities, we capitalized on them. At the end of the day we played a good game and as well as the opposition. The purpose of this talent identification is to get players, select them, irrespective of their handicaps, mm -hmm. and we'll go back to our next camps, where we, uh, boot camps, where we'll be addressing all their uh, problems. Catching up with our alumni is always our favorite thing to do here at the Kiana Team Search. And one of our favorite characters from last season has to be Lutando, otherwise known by you affectionately as Mam Ruby. What are the players feeling at this point? Um, you know right now, Nick, mm. the only thing that's on their mind they look, they're looking forward to be selected, but then they, they're trying by all means to impress uh, the coaches. Mm. Therefore, uh, some of them, they are under pressure, you know. Mm. So what is your advice? Would you say rather instead of showing off and showing the flair, just show that you've got a basic understanding of the game? Like what is it that you think was gave you the opportunity to go through to the next round, made you shine? 
so simple. Mm. You know, believe in yourself. Also, again, like I said, you don't have to to prove anyone here. Yeah? Mm. You have to play your own game. You know. Therefore, if ever you play like that, coaches will see you. Um, I think it was basically only um, Somba passes the mark in here yeah, in Upala to school. I was going to go to the house and I was going to play. I was going to play a good experience and the game was like that. I was going to say, really, um, it's, it's all the privileges. I was going to play a good experience for, 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 for one year. Yeah. Man, the Kemiamo Nango Namashita, Sazamilo Pusha, and then second half we are, and the Zamilo Pusha Kong and Nako. Now we are cool, and we net banky on a and the Pola life, life, yam, the Tanaka cool. Yeah, think I actually didn't like a good say, and the other good coaches, but now Bonagam is born and is a good. Well, I think I did what I felt I could do, you know, I couldn't, I just wanted to stick to the basics, not try and like, you know, go overboard, but um, hopefully they impressed. Um, yeah, I know the ladies, I heard them shouting there from the, from the sideline, I'm glad to see that they come out in their numbers to support. I'm cheering for 180. Woo! Because he plays like my favorite mm -hmm. position. I came here to score more to score goals because strikers have been taken because of their scoring goals. I think I scored three or four goals and I wanna thank the NetBank Kiona for giving us a chance. Maybe we can make it one of the good days. You know? They say those that make it to the top have to suffer through blood, sweat and tears, Minantle. Definitely. I mean, those boys really left their hearts and souls mm. on that pitch. This year, we actually had a lot of injuries, unfortunately. But it just goes to show how much it meant to these players. I mean, one of the players got a really, really bad injury in terms of a head bite. But these players soldiered on. And it just goes to show that, you know what, at the end of the day, no matter how big and how hectic those injuries were and how hard they were really playing, that's how much it meant to them. They really wanted to go out there, leave no stone unturned, and make sure that the coaches were able to say, that's the guy we need to choose for the next round. Oh, wow. Miss Mini, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. We look forward to so much more in the season. Definitely. It's going to be great fun. These boys are firecrackers.
Olympic is open, le paraya kayu. Oh, this guy. I didn't see him coming. Sure. South Africa has so many fantastic soccer players and of course not to mention the colorful personalities but let's get back to the field and witness our mass football talent in action. What did you set yourself out for for today? I just came here with the intention there to, to play, whoever I play with, to play as a team and for the team and then, yeah, obviously. Mainly where I play, I'm the only white guy, you know, and I enjoy it. Football is a lovely game. Jesus has given me the talent to play it and the passion and desire to play. So I don't know, they just call me Gamla, Lungu, Lakwa. So it's just one of those things, you know. Uh, last year I was in England. I was playing with the Man City Shadow Squad. But unfortunately, you know, you need national caps and everything to sign in England. So I came back here, God brought me here, and I'm starting again. So by God's grace, you know, I can get in the national team and take it from there. When I was driving into the stadium, I couldn't help but not miss these two contestants. How are you doing, guys? So good, thanks. Okay, so we go out and we get weaves. But I mean, look at this. Your hair is so luxurious. Thank you. It's lavish. Does it get the ladies? Big time. A big and time. I'm fishing all the way. Hey. Are you serious? Hey. It was good. It was good just as I need too hard to wear. It's kind of dehydrating. It, it was important, but I don't think we were to have a chance to learn the opportunity. And that bank really helped me a lot. And the other guys, yeah. So I don't think I'll be uh, Having a contract with Pirates, played at Cape Town. I think I should go to the Avanta Balana, Luti. They must focus, work hard, and have faith 
I started very well and I had a good game and I enjoyed and thanks to NetBank for giving us the opportunity to actually having to showcase our talent because we played 15-15 minutes which was very fair and which I'm very grateful. Uh, my secret, uh, I just make sure I'm, I'm, like, I'm composed when I go into the 18 area and I just like take a deep breath before I, even if I shoot or either I'm passing the ball. I just take a deep breath, I take my time and which gives me and the first thing I make sure is just on target. Can deflate to anything and just go behind the net. I'd like to play for Sander because there's a striker called Katvid Malajila. He stays down my road and he's a good striker. And I feel I should just one day join him there before he retires maybe. We as the coaches wanted to step um, a bit further, you know. Uh, we wanted to push to a certain limit. And then I'm happy with the fact that the, the talent that we saw from first province to the last province has been exceptional so far. One would never doubt to say in terms of where we are running short in the goalkeeping, we've seen the possibility of reviving goalkeepers like Banda, Banksy Cody, in terms of physique and uh, some had hands like a bunch of bananas, you know. <laughs> You know, I was very surprised to see that we, we struggled with goalkeepers from other provinces. But today I saw some exceptional goalkeepers and I'm definitely sure that some of those boys are going to come to the boot camps. We have found players. All what is left now is to take these players and, and start molding them now. Polish, yes. you know this are uh, this unpolished diamonds. I like now them. we must go in the, in, and polish them. You found a lump of coal? Yeah. Time to shine them into exactly. diamonds. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much, coach. Thank you. I tell you, he lies to you, and I'm not one of the selectors because with so many fantastic players around the country, how will they get to their final selection down to just a 48 Yabalali? Good luck, Nina Bokoshi. Next week is going to be an entertaining as we watch the coaches deliberate, argue, and finally agree on the players to attend the first bootcamp, Bootcamp 48. It's that time where we have to now seriously interrogate the number of players that we have identified. Physically he's there, he can pass the ball well, he doesn't lose possession of the ball. Physically he's very strong. You know the country is going to uh, benefit from players like this. We are all looking forward to watching these boys playing on a big pitch. Netbank is proud to present the Netbank Cup Fiona Team Search. Dynamic. Exhilarating. The Netbank Cup Team Search. Fiona. The Netbank Cup. The one.